We're going to play with Eater Cap a little bit more today and use Wireshark to pull some of the information out of uh, the packets that we capture. Uh, now, Wireshark uh, is similar to Eater Cap in that it can capture packets too. I just I really like EaterCap, so I usually use it to capture my packets, but Wireshark has some nice features to help you uh, sort through them. So first thing I need to do is sudo EaterCap, and I'm going to go into text mode, quiet, and uh, our mode will be ARP. My uh, device is ETHO, although once again, that may be different on your machine. Um, and I'm going to narrow my search down to this address. That is my uh, Nokia N900 that is on the wireless network here. And uh, then that is my router. And I'm going to save all the output into a Nokia.cat. So I'll do that. And once it's up, it's ready. I will go to my phone and I will start going to a website. I'll go to linux.com first. I clicked on that. Give it a second to load here. It's almost done loading. And then the next site that I'll be going to, uh, I'll just go to uh, Brain of Sean, which is Sean Powers uh, from the Linux Journal, his personal site, which is a good site, you should check it out. Brainofshawn.com. I'll hit enter. And now you notice there's nothing coming up on the screen over here. That's because we used the large Q for quiet mode, but everything is going into these this Nokia uh, cap file. Uh, Brain of Sean has now loaded. So I am done capturing. I can hit Q to quit and it will uh, deactivate Eater Cap. Now I can start up Wireshark, uh, and I can tell it to look at our Nokia.cat file. So when I open it up, it will automatically open up that file. You can always go to File Open if you want to do that. Uh, and you can see it lists all the packets here, nicely color-coded in order. You can sort them to different things, and there is a search feature. But the thing I want to show you today is under File, Export, Objects, and here we have HTTP. Click on that. What that's going to do is going to search through all the packets and anything that's HTTP uh, traffic, so basically anything that's regular web browsing, will show up in here. And it tells you the information of the host name over here to the left. And the center column is the contents, what, what it is. So you can see that there's some CSS code that we grab, some JavaScript that we grab. It tells you the name of the file over here, too. You can see we grab images. And I'm just going to click Save All. I'm going to. Uh, choose uh, we're in my temp folder now I'll just call make a folder called Nokia so I type Nokia there I click OK it gives me an error some files could not be saved you get that every time uh, it's just some packets may have not been fully captured but now if I go to my file browser and I go to my temp folder there is a Nokia folder there that I can click on and you can see all those packets are now uh, transcribed to files. So we have image files from the websites that I visited and CSS files. And so you can really see what someone's been uh, looking at and doing. And you can pull apart certain sites. Sometimes there are sites that you might want to grab something off of, uh, audio file or a video file that's protected that won't let you download uh, and you can grab it this way many of times and you can come in here and find them uh, SWF files so flash files so basically anything that you can view on a website can be captured with EaterCap this way so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I have lots of fun with EaterCap and I hope that you will too visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this and I hope you have a great day